Right, so we all know Eternatus is really good, but the one thing it can't really do is one shot in the mirror or one shot of the VMAXs. When paired with Obstagoon and the Piers engine, you can search out the Obstagoons really easily and it gives you a lot more damage to play with. So let's have a look. So here, like I said, there's Eternatus Obstagoon. Obstagoon is going to give us the Untamed Shout ability. When you evolve him, you can put three damage counts on your opponent's Pokemon. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Obstruct is actually an awesome uh, win condition against loads of other decks as well. Not as good as it used to be, but you know. Uh, we've still got the full 4-4 four, four on the Eternatus V. That's obviously the more Darkness Pokemon you have in play, the stronger it is. And then Dread End. Um, well, the ability, I should say, let's have eight Darkness Pokemon in play. Then Dread End is 30 for each one you do have. And then we've got the Hooper Assault Gate just to act as our non GX attacker of sorts, but yeah, let's get into some game. Won the coin flip. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I think we do return to this, right? Are we playing against Decidueye? Um, oh, I think he's weak to grass, isn't it? I was going to say, obviously, going to be good against that, but. God, what is his hand? Hmm. Yeah, it's handling the greatest. I mean, we can obviously pierce for Crobat, right? But well, oh, let's have a look what he's playing. Then. So he's Sonya's. <clears throat> Quarmant's quite odd. Not really a card you see too much outside like Porygon deck. So, but you can use these sleeves when you're not playing a grass deck, I believe, right? So, not sure. But this will reveal all unless he gets two basic energies, in which case it won't. So it's Decidueye. Okay. Annoying that he led that then. That's two prizes. Can Hooper carry us the rest of the game? Actually, the Obstagoon with Hooper might actually be a kind of clutch. So. It's in the beat catch, right? Yeah, very good. Yeah, that's tough. It's going to be a tough one. Luckily, it turned out to a lot of health. We can just sit there and sponge hits if we need to. No money for us. Oh, we can actually care a Rowlet. Stop him attacking the turn. Is that actually. That's not going to go anywhere, right? Or we can Piers potentially KO this. Um. Hoop out of the prizes, which is kind of cool as well. Hoop is indeed weak to grass. So if you want to like leave Decidueye inactive, we can get a first hit on it because it hasn't got energy on it yet. Which is nice for us. <sighs> so he obviously takes candy Decidueye. I'm guessing he doesn't leave it in the active though. You'd be a madman to do that, right? Need to get six damage counters onto one shot with Hooper. It's gross. It's Eldegrass. Wow. Okay. So we can just we just carry one decision and carry both of these. That's our game plan, right? <clears throat> Ignore the um. You just oh he oh, must play Sonya again. Just getting out more stuff that we can kill. Yikes. Um. Ignore the uh the deck thing on the head. For some reason it's cut off the high energies. Oh, we play. Um, yeah, it's cut off the high energy. We played two high energies. I'm not sure. I'm trying to look at it now if it's cut off anything else, but I'm not sure. I want to see if he leaves Decidual and active though. As it stands now, we ain't got a way to hit it. Plays dog. Okay, so we don't even have to like worry about Decidual, guys. We can just like, well, kill one Decidual and then oh, he B catches again. We can actually take a KO here potentially. So what are we doing? We Piers for what? Energy, Crowbat, we'll bench through, per attach, and uh, start drawing through. Seems fine to me. Uh. 
Yeah, so he's going to have one owl for the whole game. Maybe it's more like a grass box kind of deck. Then maybe he doesn't. Maybe he plays like a two, two o two decidual and uses um, stadium to search it all out. Maybe. Okay, we do get Marnie. Um. Never hit any ball search for it. Yeah, I'm actually tempted to mine it, get rid of his beat catch. Oh, we get um oh we do get nice, okay. Um Yeah, we have to uh, so, so let's yeah, I'm kind of scared of the Sidroy. We can one-shot everything else, so. Crowbat, great ball, Crowbat, quick ball. Okay. Um, so we have a three, six, nine, 12. Three, six, nine, 12. So we need to get three more bench. We can actually take a KO this turn uh, if our great ball hits. Let's try that first. Uh, let's get one to turn it as V down. Although, he's got no real way of, like... Yeah, let's just get out of Hooper. He's not going to batter his way through. Oh, I kind of want to hold on to that bosses. Let's get rid of the candy. Uh, we get out what goo with this. And then we have to... So, 3, 6, 9, 12, 150, 180. 2, 10. There we go. I guess we could have put that here. We didn't, we didn't have to bench the crow, but we can just bench another one. That should be okay, right? Yep. <sighs> so now what we can do is just bench this goon, attach there, uh, we'll retreat with our high dark and KO that. That's exactly what we wanted to set up. That's like it literally exactly what we wanted to do. <laughs> <clears throat> so the obscures actually do give you a little bit of a... I mean, you have to go jump through some hoops, but then the situation's going to be a, a slower deck anyway. And like a turn at us can just soak up damage for like so long. So once we carry that, then we can just boss his anything. So I think this one's wrapped up in all honesty. <clears throat> Is that a capture? Again, ignore the deck list on the side, guys. It's not including my uh, high dark for some reason. Excuse me, I'm just burping all over the shop. I'm actually currently on a rock star punch because I woke up very early this morning. So I got a really busy week, so I have to like get these videos done really early. So hope that like, new layout, guys. Let me know what you think of the layout. Trying to just make the videos look more aesthetically pleasing. You know, I've took, I've took, I made the thumbnails look nicer now. So now I want to uh, tackle the actual in-game video. Let me know what you think. I think it looks awesome. I love retro-inspired stuff. They got the, the Miami Vice uh, font there on the deck list. My sister really came in the clutch with that for sure. Which is so uh, yeah, like I said, this decision was dead right. So 100. Yeah, we do 90. Correct. So bench dead. Bosses anything else? Going after the Hoopers. And that is what happens. You can just fling damage counters around. Like I said, we can start doing bonkers stuff, right? Uh, we actually probably attach hiding. Yeah, we'll attach hiding. We actually pierce for a crowbat, probably. Uh, yeah. Now, look, we only used one of Turner's this whole game. There you go, that's a concede. He knew it was over. He knew it was over. <laughs> Right then, so here's the list. Um, four, four, four. Now, I don't think you can play a turn this without. Although my pre uh, TC Joe list played a four, three, but you need to get out of the four for uh, a turn this VMAX, don't you? Like, it's so important. Um, if you don't get it, you can't fill your bench. So, uh, four, four on the Obtagoons. Again, like you saw, when you can just manipulate damage in such a way, nothing is impossible, which is cool. I like having a three Hooper also. Uh, four Great Ball, three Calm, four Quick. That seems fine to me. Uh, four rare candy, one black market. Now you might have another stadium or like some sort of swell out, but for now I'm opting not to. Three bosses, one Erica's, four Marnie, three Piers. You could try and fit in some uh, research. I'm not against that, obviously. Research is a bonkers card for sure, but 
one balloon, two hide, and then seven energy. If I put some more energy in, that's fine. There's so yeah, that's the list, guys. Let me know what you think. Eternatus Obstagoon. Is it actually a real deck? Can it actually be good? Or should we just stick to another Eternatus VMAX um, variant? Let me all know in the comments. Let me know, okay? If you have the more data to Blaze post rotation comment, uh, content, check the playlist down in the description where I've got like 50 post rotation videos all waiting to be watched, okay? But thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.